Hello, in another video I looked at tariffs. Well, here I want to look at the other main form of protectionism, which is quotas. Now, tariffs were an import tax. They, they, they placed a tax raising the price of all imports. But there was no limit on the number of imports. Quotas is a more regulation-based, less market-based approach. And it actually limits, physically limits, the number of imports uh, of a certain type of good that can come into a country in a certain given period of time, say one year. It's a physical limit on the quantity that can be imported. And here's how it works. We have, as we did before, uh, price, uh, price on the vertical axis, sorry, quantity on the horizontal, and we have domestic supply, uh, supplies within the country, and demand in, in a country. And there would be an equilibrium quantity and price were there no trade. Now imagine that there is no restriction to trade. We can have a world supply, supply of the world, um, there, uh, as I explained before, it's horizontal because this kind of scale of quantity means nothing really to the world supplies. They can supply any quantity here at this price here. Let's call this uh, P2. And without any restriction on trade, there would be a huge uh, increase in the quantity that would be demanded. I'm going to put some numbers on this. Let's call this a thousand. And domestic supplies would not be interested at this low price of supplying so much. Let's say they only were willing to supply, let's say, 400. That means that, rub this out for a minute. That means that imports are 600. But let's say that's too many for this domestic government. They don't want to allow 600 imports, and they want to promote domestic supply. Perhaps they would set a quota. Let's say that the quota set is, let's say, 200. They are only allowing 200 imports. Now, clearly, 600 imports can no longer be allowed in. This amount of domestic, uh, this amount of excess demand, cannot be sustained anymore by the sucking in of imports. And so, what's going to happen is this: price is going to rise. Now, price will rise until the excess demand, the the distance by which demand is greater than supply, will equal the quota and can be satisfied by the quota. At that point, there's no need for price to rise anymore. I suppose it will be somewhere around here. So maybe... Somewhere around here. This might be uh, 200. So this could be, I don't know, um, maybe this is 770, and this is 570 or something. And of course, the distance, the excess demand, is 200. And so the equilibrium price comes to rest at P3, because the domestic supply plus the quota of 200 equals the demand. So the demand is satisfied by a combination of domestic supply and the permitted quota. But it drove the price up, and by driving the price up, quantity demanded has fallen, quantity supply domestically has risen, and now the excess demand is just 200. And that's how a quota works. They don't set the price, they just drive up the price to a point where the, uh, the quota can satisfy the excess demand. Of course, if the quota had been set to zero, then price would have to go all the way up to here, to P1, and there would be no imports allowed. And not allowing any imports in, having a quota set to zero, is called an embargo. Um, what might be worth considering is the elasticity of these curves and whether uh, a quota is going to have more effect uh, when the curves are more uh, elastic rather than inelastic, which will be the case. Um, and, of course, it's the severity of the quota that is set. But quotas and tariffs um, are both forms of protectionism. But don't forget that quotas raise no revenue for the government, whereas tariffs do. And tariffs are much more of a market-based approach. Although, saying that, the whole idea of protectionism is hardly market-based. Um, the quotas are more a regulation. And, uh, well, as, is, as I said in a previous video, with, the, with more and more countries agreeing not to extend their quotas and tariffs by joining the WTO. Uh, perhaps this is being seen to be not very effective by many countries who are preferring trade liberalisation. Um, okay, thank you. Bye-bye.